I am a physical therapist and Pilates instructor here in my home studio, the Pilates RX in Somerville, Massachusetts. And today we're going to be working with Gabby, who is an athlete who has a history of ACL injury and is having a little bit of residual knee pain. We're going to hope to get Gabby back into basketball with some jumping and cutting. Um, and so in order to prepare for those activities, we're going to be doing some dynamic hamstring and glute strength and mobility work. So Gabby's already pretty warmed up, but we're going to work through a quick sequence to get a sense of where her body is today. Before working into parakeet, we'll do some preps and then the full exercise. So we're going to get started lying down on the, uh, we'll be working with the tower as I said, we'll be lying down on your back. And we'll start with the long purple springs and the leg loops. I'm going to ask Gabby to find a neutral spine alignment. And we'll start here. So we'll have Gabby press the knees out a little bit farther. We're just going to start with some parallel leg extension. So exhaling to press the legs out long and inhaling to bend in. Now in this position, I'm looking for a couple things. One being the timing of the two legs is one leg leading the motion. I'm also looking to see if either leg is deviating out of that neutral femoral alignment. There are times when we might want to work on internal rotation or external rotation for the purposes of this exercise. Today, we're looking in parallel. I'm also looking to see that Gabby can keep that nice neutral spine alignment with the collarbones broad, the neck elongated, and we'll cue to press a little bit further with that left leg. So almost imagine like your left leg is reaching out past the right leg. Beautiful. And she's got excellent control here. We'll try two or three more and soften the knees, pulling back in, feel the power and reach last time like that. Good, and pull the legs back in, excellent. So we'll take the feet out, and we're gonna work next with the push to the bar, doing a few preps for the full parakeet. So I'm gonna have you spin around, Gabby, with your head towards the window. And when I have clients working um, in the more dynamic, hamstring and glute movements like in parakeet, I'll give them a little bit of extra sticky mat here. We'll ask Gabby to bring the ball of the feet and you may want to slide back maybe right about there is good. The ball of the foot on the bar. Now in this position it's very easy to let the feet take over. We're going to try and focus on keeping the movement to the knees, maintaining a dorsiflex position of the foot. So you can exhale to push the bar forward and then gently bend and pull back in. Now keeping the feet in this static position is a lot of work, but it also allows us to really focus on the hip extension piece of this movement. So here we have the knees coming in, this is our hip flexion. Here we're extending the legs out, that is our hip extension. At the same time, this is a ton of abdominal work to maintain stillness of the spine, keeping the collarbones open and the neck elongated. So from here, we're gonna add on into our bridge. So go ahead and let the legs lift all the way up to the ceiling. Once they do so, you can straighten. Go ahead and now articulate your spine down. So you're gonna roll down one vertebrae at a time, imagining your spine like a string of pearls, and then come back up. See if you can keep your knees straight-ish. Think of pushing the bar to the ceiling as you melt and lower your spine down. Excellent. And then go ahead and lift it back up. Now we're gonna combine those movements, so melting the spine down. Once your tailbone taps the mat, bend through the knees and press to extend the bar out. And then gently pulling in, allow the bar to come up and lift. Good, and melt it back down. So let your tailbone come down first and then bend through the knees, good. Letting the legs lift up slow. This is your eccentric hamstring work here. Lifting, good. Lowering the spine down. This will be our last time through that sequence. Bend the knees and reach out. Good, and then letting the bar come up. We'll take a quick rest before the full exercise. So what I have Gabby working on right now is a single red spring. It's fairly light, it engages the core quite a bit, which is gonna be important as we work through to the full parakeet. For the purposes of full parakeet, we're gonna give her a little bit more support with an additional glue spring on the push-through bar. So Gabby, I'll have you set your feet up in the same way 
and then allow the feet to lift up towards the ceiling. And here's your high diagonal bridge. In this setup, I'm gonna ask Gabby to ground the shoulders. So your arms are important here, pressing the back of the shoulders into the mat. Same sequence, but you're keeping your hips lifted. And for this exercise, I want you to go a little bit fast. I'll be here to um, spot the bar. So you're gonna bend the knees down, push out. Good, and then pull and come back up. That was beautiful. Try that again, bend down, press, and come right back up. So I love this exercise for athletes, especially basketball players who are jumping and cutting. This is a very quick, dynamic look at hamstring power, as well as glute endurance and core stability. We'll try two more here. How good, Debbie, that's it. And once more, beautiful, and melt the spine down. And you can take your feet off and take a quick rest. So that was fabulous. I would say Gabby shows excellent control through that sequence. Um, another way to progress, and we won't do this today, and she'll be a little bit tired, would be to go into some single leg variations, looking at the differences from side to side, as well as the stability of the pelvis in single leg. We could also lighten up the spring tension here to make her work a little harder to return the bar back up. So those are all ways we could um, continue to progress and challenge the dynamic hamstring and glute stability. So I thank you guys so much for joining us today for this balanced body video and we hope to see you again soon.